Now God made you because he's your father. And he wants you to choose to be his son, to choose to be his daughter. But you are free, loved ones. You're free. You're free not to do that if you want. And that's why God has made us. He made us to enjoy his love. And that's why he made us like himself, you remember. There's that strange verse. You, you might look at it because some of you probably have never read it in this light. It's an interesting verse. Gives you kind of a glimpse into heaven before, the, before human beings were made. And it's back in Genesis chapter 1. So you could look at it there on page 1 of that Revised Standard Version. Genesis 1 and verse 26 it is. And it does give you a, 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 an insight which God obviously revealed miraculously to Moses when he wrote Genesis. Genesis 1 and 26, it gives you an insight into what was happening before mankind was created. Then God said, let us make man. And it's nice, you know, to think, let us. He turned around to Jesus, who was with him from before the creation of the world, and he says, my son, let us make man in our image. And that's why God made us in his image. That's why you are the kind of person you are. You're made like God, so that you could understand God and so that he could understand you. So you are different, you know. Uh, that's why the whole tendency of the modern world to say you're a nothing, you know, is wrong. That's why the whole tendency to say, that's the real objection to the evolution thing, you know. There's evolution within the species, that's obvious. But the whole... Uh, insult to God in saying you're just a glorified ape is that you are made in God's image. You are like God. You're made like him. You're a break from the animal kingdom, you know. You're different from the animal kingdom. You're actually not only different from the animal kingdom, you're different from all the rest of us in this room. You, you know that. You know, you have squirrely little thoughts that none of the rest of us have. You have funny little ways, you twitch your nose a funny way, you smile a funny way, you say things a funny way. They're funny to us because they're not the way we do it. But they're different. You're different from everybody else in this room. And then just think for a minute, I know I've said it before, but we keep on missing it. You're different from everybody else in Minneapolis. And then you're different from everybody else in Minnesota, and that's only four million. But you're different from the other 250 million in America. But it's amazing, you're different from the other 5 billion it'll be next June, apparently. You're different from the other 5 billion on this planet. You're different. Not only that, you're different from everybody who has ever lived. And you're different from everybody who will ever live. That's why you're unique. You're a version of God's character that nobody else is. God made you like himself. 